Tansin to Tamtuk, how are you today? I'm having a pretty great day, feeling really productive, really alert, just ready to go, which feels like the perfect time to start a new craft. So, hot on the tails of my last project, I have another knitting kit from Wool and the Gang. This one is the Farrah Top Billy Jean. I think the wool in this kit is made from recycled jeans. So I'm really excited about that. It should be this cute little like tank top when I'm done with it. Uh, let's open it up, see what's inside. Now, unlike the other kit where I had never tried crocheting before, I have definitely tried knitting before. Um, there we go, big rip. I got really into knitting last winter, probably around this time. It's just like something to do, keep my hands busy. I made like some blankets, some um, ear scarf things. I don't remember what they're called, ear bands. Yeah. Uh, and so because of that, I asked to not be sent knitting needles in this kit. I was like, I already have all of the knitting needles and all of the sizes. Please do not send me more. I do not need more. So what we have instead is a whole bunch of balls of yarn. Oh my goodness, there's two in there. There's more. It just keeps going. It's like Christmas. There are four balls of yarn. And then another little envelope thing. This one, yeah, says so there's a pattern and a sewing needle inside, which are both true. <laughs> Those are both inside. And they also send you this little tag in case you wanted to stitch it onto your final product. So, four little balls of yarn. It's pretty thin this time. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, thinner than the stuff that I use to make my shoes, but it is 60% upcycled denim and 40% upcycled cotton, which I love. And this is also a really nice color, like blue and white, just good, good material, good color. I'm excited to have a tank top that I made with this kit. I grabbed my five millimeter knitting needles and made a test swatch, which I have never done before. And I think I somehow managed to do it very, very wrong, despite counting all the numbers just right. It is almost tall enough, but it is twice as wide as it's supposed to be. So I don't know what that says about how tight I knit. I kind of just want to start, kind of just want to start the project and see how it goes from there. I was a little worried about using this to begin with. I'm gonna try to get it to focus on that. Not my face. Uh, yeah, that's better. It's just like a whole bunch of individual threads twisted together to make yarn. And for the first row, that was extremely difficult. Hello, thank you. Uh, extremely difficult to work with. But then as I got going, it got a lot better and I actually really like how it feels. I like how it moves and behaves and I really like the color. So I'm excited to get started. I went through the instruction booklet this morning and highlighted all of the correct number of stitches and whatnot that I'll need for my size to just take out that mental effort of figuring out the numbers as I go. I've done my seven rows of one by one rib stitch, or at least, you know, four rows, please focus, four rows of rib stitch and three rows of trying and learning. Um, purling is hard. I'll just, I'll just put it at that. Pearl stitching is, is hard. Not anymore, but it was when I started. <laughs> been ages since I did a knitting update, so I figured I would do that now. I forget how many hours have gone into this. Uh, however many lectures and like Netflix episodes there have been between the last update and this one. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I like can't even hold it off to the side. It's on the two needles right now so you can see like more realistically how long it is. Hello. <laughs> It's about nine inches tall now. It has to be, I think, 12 before I move on to the shaping of it. I just added a fresh ball of yarn. Had no clue how to do that and I had been dreading it, but it was super easy. I just looked it up on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, gonna keep going. I started with 82 stitches and I think I accidentally added one somewhere along the way and now I have 83. 
but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm honestly mostly just worried about the front and the back matching, <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot of hours before we know if they do. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. I don't even know how long it's been, but I was working on my t-shirt some more. This is a tank top. It is the perfect length. I finished the straps. It has like a really nice length up here, full coverage, I guess you could say. And it's, yeah, it's great here. This is my hip bone. Again, I'm wearing a dress, so you can't really tell. But the shirt underneath ends like right here. And that's where this shirt ends. I'm really excited to see how it all comes together. I definitely made a few mistakes when I was working on this, but it's symmetrical. Like this neckline is the same on both sides. It is the same length on both sides. Uh, the like single added stitch did, doesn't seem to be that obvious. I guess when you start with 82 and you make 14 inches of knitting and you accidentally end up with 84, you can't always tell. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I have started the back side, which means basically restarting all of this. It's like redo steps one through five, which is like here down, which probably took me the longest. This probably took me like 12 hours to do and then the rest of it, I don't know, four-ish? Let's go with four-ish, four to six for like the neckline and the straps. But yeah, I did it. I'm really happy with how the front turned out. Hopefully the back turns out just as well. The back side of the shirt. This side's a lot less interesting. There's a lot less like neck area, I guess you could say, but it is the back, so that makes sense. Uh, I still have my markers in here from when I counted to make sure I didn't add or drop too many stitches. Uh, of course, the back side looks so much better than the front. I have a few mistakes I made in the front because I was just learning still. And this bottom part, especially, it looks so much better. Uh, I goofed it on the front side, so like around the second or third row there's a bit of a bunch and then it resets and it looks nice again. But I did it! It's all done! I just have to attach the front to the back now. So let's get on to that and see how it looks all assembled. I did it! It is all done. It fits so well. This tank top is actually really comfortable. You can maybe see the neckline there. This neckline came out really nice. I don't think you can see many of the faults in like the front of it. At least I can't. Uh, I'm just so happy with how it came out. I'm so proud of myself for making this. I can't even tell you how many hours this took. My rough estimate is like 30, 30 to 40 hours for this shirt. Uh, I didn't have to undo much of it, thank goodness. So it, I don't know, could have taken longer with more mistakes. It was definitely an intermediate pattern to follow. There were some things, I made a mistake around the armhole on the front and I made sure to make the same mistake on the back so it would look the same, but I was a little worried that would mean that it wouldn't fit around my arms and it does, it fits great. Um, yeah, there were some things that I was not entirely sure about, but the booklet has instru instructions at the back and it's really easy to look up how-to videos for knitting. So yeah, this was great. I don't know what to do with my hands now that I'm not knitting myself a shirt, but I'm sure I'll find myself another project. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything from Wool and the Gang, if you've seen my other video where I make shoes, I guess it shows up over here, where I make shoes using a similar kit from Wool and the Gang, uh, if you want to see more like this and just what you think of how it turned out. Alright, thanks for watching. I guess it's